Here we are, 72 hours after these seeds arrived in their sprouting trays, and we're back to check on everything. I'm gonna start with our large sprouting tray and then do the, the, smallest, the smaller seeds. First things first, I am going to drain the water. There is not as much, I guess you could call it ick, it as there was yesterday, but I think it's still worth draining just to keep everything smelling nice and to, to uh, cut down on any bacterial or mold buildup. There we go, rinsing the lid. Again, in between seed sproutings, uh, wash everything really well using, you know, soap, hot water, running it through the dishwasher, all that good stuff. Okay. Next, let's look at these pinto beans. All right, though they do smell like pinto beans, I am going to admit disappointment on the sprouting factor. I might get, be getting one right there. Looks like it's splitting. These guys are slow to sprout though. I'm gonna give them a little rinse. Again, these are not a, a bean that I typically sprout. These are just ones that I happen to have in the pantry and I was like, oh, we'll try these because I have an extra large bean sprouting tray. We'll give them a shot. I'm gonna say these are not gonna go into my sprouting hall of fame. However, let's take a look at the mung bean sprouts. I have high hopes. Here it comes. Look at those. Isn't that cool? Okay, so the white color is good as far as um, it's gonna have good flavor. They're starting to shed the seeds. You could certainly cook with these. I think I will probably be wanting to use them tomorrow to give them one more day of growth, but I like them fairly mature. And that is, that's just my preference. I don't think there's a right answer with these. I've seen, um, I've seen, I guess it would be a recipe where uh, people have written about how they've taken mung beans when they've just sprouted maybe only 24 hours and just have a tiny little tail and then they ground them up and use them like flour, which would be cool. But I really enjoy the full flavor of the full bean sprout. You can see the beginnings of the leaves coming through. Do you see those? Those are the sepal leaves, the S-E, it's spelled S-E-P-A-L. They're the initial two leaves of every plant and they're not at all what the bean leaves will look like, but they're just the first two leaves that come out. All right, back for another 24 hours of germination. Let's see what we got going on over here in the small seed condo unit. A little bit of cloudy water. Giving it a good rinse. And let's do mustard seeds first. Okay, we do have more sprouting. Cool. These guys are definitely slower though. You see the little, the little tiny sprouts coming out. Yeah, I will probably uh, let these continue to sprout for another couple of days before I try and eat them, just because I want more there. That's just, again, they're edible at this point. I just want more there. <gasps> Alfalfa sprouts, check them out. And these guys, these guys will get almost as tall as this bowl. So I'm gonna just give them a little bit of a nice water and put them back and they will keep growing in their little condo unit. Rocky, those are not for you. So here we go. That is 72 hours after they arrived in their uh, seed sprouting tray. And we're gonna put them back for another 24 hours. And I'm guessing tomorrow the, the mung bean sprouts are gonna be ready to eat.